in the United States, we have a famous comedian by the name of Larry the Cable Guy. Larry the Cable Guy has this catchphrase, and it goes like, Get her done. Get her done. And it means something along the lines of just do your job or just get the job done. But this phrase, I think, is a very good example of a connected speech type called elision. He does not say get her done. He says get her done. Get her done. In this video, we will explore elision, what elision is, and how recognizing that elision can help you better understand native English speakers when they are speaking quickly. It'll help you better understand American films or American songs, or it can help you perfect your native English accent if that is your goal. So if that sort of topic interests you, keep watching. Remember, connected speech is the way words connect to one another when spoken in a specific sequence. And to elide means to omit a sound when speaking. And elision is the disappearance of a sound in spoken language. An elided or H sound occurs when the word beginning with the or H sound is unstressed and the word before it ends in a consonant sound. But remember, this does not occur 100% of the time. These are just tendencies. In fact, the elided or H sound presence depends on many different factors. One can be how quickly the speaker is speaking. It also occurs in some American accents more than others. You typically hear this in Southern American accents or AAVE, African American Vernacular English, a lot. It also occurs with some words more than others. A few words where the elided or H sound occurs very frequently are his, he, her, him, herself, himself, have, has, and had. So these pronouns or possessive pronouns typically have the elided or H sound. So we will go over a few examples and then you will have a practice. Listen to me say this sentence. I couldn't find him anywhere. I'll repeat, I couldn't find him anywhere. I couldn't find him anywhere. Notice I did not say I couldn't find him anywhere. I said I couldn't find him anywhere. That is because the word him is unstressed and the word before it, find, ends in a consonant sound. So we do not say I couldn't find him anywhere. We just say I couldn't find him anywhere. I couldn't find him anywhere. And remember, him is one of those words that I mentioned are pretty susceptible to H elision. Next sentence. I didn't know he lived around here. I'll repeat one more time slowly. I didn't know he lived around here. Notice I did not say I didn't know he lived around here. I said I didn't know he lived around here. That is because he is unstressed and the word no ends in a consonant sound and remember the w is kind of tricky because it's a semi-vowel so sometimes it acts as a consonant and sometimes it acts as a vowel in this case it's acting as a consonant so we say this sentence as i didn't know he lived around here i didn't know he lived around here you try saying it pretty good. So now you will have a practice. Identify where the elided or H sound occurs in these three sentences. Practice saying it and then we will go over it together. So the first sentence says, sorry I couldn't be with him at the hospital. The elided H occurs with the word him. That is because him is unstressed. The word before it with ends in a consonant sound. So we do not say him, we say him, him. Sorry I couldn't be with him at the hospital. And now we're gonna take a look at the next sentence. I don't know if he'll pass the exam. I don't know if he'll pass the exam. The elided H occurs with the word heel, heel. That is because heel is 
unstressed. The word before it ends in a consonant sound. So we do not say heel, we just say eel. I don't know if you'll pass the exam. And he, as I mentioned, is one of those words that is susceptible to H elision. Next we have, could you give her a ride? Could you give her a ride? The alighted H sound occurs with the word her. That is because her in this sentence is not stressed. The word before it ends in a consonant sound. B -b -b. So we do not say, could you give her a ride? We just say, could you give her a ride? Could you give her a ride? And remember her is one of those words that I told you often has the H sound elided. So that is the end of this video on connected speech, in particular, the elision of the H sound. If you found this video useful, make sure to give me a like, leave a comment if you have any questions, and do not forget to subscribe if you have not already. Until next time, English learners.